YouTube, it's Delta0125 here again. It's time with another unboxing, and this time for my first uh, AK that I've bought, which I haven't bought an AR yet. From all my videos, you'd probably be able to tell that, but first AK purchase, this is a Wazer 1063 by Century International Arms. I've already checked for a cant on the uh, front sight. And if SmartGunner45 is watching this, apparently what I said wasn't true. The full-sized one didn't actually have a cant. Or if it did, the guy fixed it overnight, magically. But, uh, anyways, it's new. Bought it for $5.95. Is the full stock model. I skipped the underfolder. So, uh, Ruski74, if you're watching this, this is the full stock model. And it's not tactical in any way. Just standard AK style. So it has a tag on it from the uh, price. <clears throat> Came with one magazine. Everything's coated in the crappy oil that Sentry uses. Well, not everything. The receiver's not. Bolt is. The left side of the receiver has a little bit on it. The wood isn't all that dinged up for being surplus wood. One of the things I noticed was, uh, I believe, a few top dings. And that might be from people just handling it in the store. But, uh, doesn't appear to be shot. I mean, the barrel looks pretty new. And it is chrome lined. And, uh, something I did notice about this particular one is it has a sort of bolt hold open feature on it. And I'll just pick this up out of the box. But, yeah, if you just pull it back to there, it holds the bolt open. Pull back again to have it fall forward. Or you could just pull it back all the way. So, again, holds open about right there. Is not, there's no trick to it. You just pull it back and let it slide forward. This one came with a little cover for the charging handle. Selector switch, pretty positive. And the scratches are actually from me doing that, by the way. Uh, the mag catch is a little bit temperamental, but if I file it down up here, it should catch all mags. And I'll show you what I mean real quick. It's the mag that came with it. Well, it went easy that time, but sometimes it won't go in as easy. Apparently it's going in easier now. Because of all the oil. But, um... So, I'm probably going to wipe down the oil tonight, put some Hops 9 oil in there, instead of the standardized Cosmoline crap that came with it. Oh, and it has the, uh, I'm not sure if that's called a, um, it's not a Bakelite grip, it's a, uh, Russian polymer surplus grip that's on it. Might replace that with a wood grip in the future, I'm not sure. The next purchase is definitely going to be the SIG P226, hopefully. And that'll be on June 29th, I believe. So, uh, first Kalashnikov style rifle purchase. 16 inch barrel, Wazer 1063. And I just collapsed my tripod so I can get an overview of that. Oh, um, that's two 30 round mags that I have for it, by the way. I bought another. The other one was, uh, $25. It's another steel mag. A bag here and I bought all the goodies with. So here's the other magazine. Not sure what the hell that is. Well, it looks to be some sort of wood. But a uh, steel magazine, as you can see. Not that well put together. It's possibly Chinese surplus because it's got the uh, smooth back. Oh yeah, so that's another thing I meant to point out is this one is actually a uh, East German style AKM mag with a rib on the back right here. Whereas this one's a Chinese made style with no rib. Actually, let me check the fit on that real quick. This is the Chinese one that didn't come with a uh, bot for it. And just as I thought. This is the temperamental mag. It'll go in catches right down here. So I might have to buy some uh, East German style AKM mags for 
screws. It clicks in, holds in positive. A little bit of wobble back and forth. Not bad. But that mag catch is kind of horrible. See what I mean? You gotta try and catch it in there. You won't catch them as often. You actually have to take these and stick them in right where the catch is. And then ease them in. Whereas this East German style one has an actual extended, sort of say, lip on it. And these ones actually slide into the 1063 is a lot easier. And they're smoother on the sides. So, that might have to be a reminder to myself that uh, if I'm going to be doing a Spetsnaz reload to stick this Chinese made mag in first. And by the way, the base plate feels loose on this. But, I mean, they click in, you have to get them just right, and chip my nail, and you just got to get them in there just right for them to catch in. And they've got a lot more wobble to them. I'm holding the rifle straight right now. As you can see, they got, they got a bit of play to them for these Chinese mags with the, uh, without the rib on the back. Whereas these East German style AKM mags, which you can find on CheaperThanDirt.com, this is actually the mag that came with it. These ones are actually a little bit more positive clicking in there. Got less wobble. Might try a Tapco Polymer mag in the future, but who knows, we'll see. I got a mag coupler, but I don't have a reason to use it, so yeah. But, uh, anyways, I got those two mags with the uh, gun today. The uh, Chinese one's the one I paid $25 for, which, in all honesty, I don't think I should have paid that much for it. But, at the time, it was a spare mag. And, by the way, I did break my nail on that magazine out. Anyways, it was a spare mag at the time, so I figured, why the hell not, just go ahead and pick it up. So, uh, picked it up for 25 bucks. Not too, uh, not too, uh, enthusiastic about it, but what can I do? It was only 25 bucks, and at the time it was right there, so I picked it up. Tool ammo. I picked up two boxes of it for $6.50 a piece. And then the most important part of my purchase today, battery for my flashlight. Because my tactical light burned out because my friend Tim kept playing with it. So... Dollar seventy-five. Next time I'll make his ass pay for it. Anyways, um, so that's my review of my Wazer ten sixty-three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, comments, or uh, yeah, anything else? Just leave it below in the comments or message me or whatever, and I'll get back to you on it. So uh, this has been Delta zero one two five. Signing out.